So, unconditional desire. The premise around what I'm learning in happiness is that a lot of the stuff that we want, a lot of the goals that we have, that we want to achieve and, and things that we desire in our lives, the main reason we want it is because we believe that in getting that thing, we will feel good, we will feel happy in the attainment of reaching that goal. And the problem in relation to this is not the desire itself, but it's putting all these different conditions that block you from feeling good now. You say you need to, all these different things to be in place for you to actually feel good now. And the truth is you don't. Based on you focusing on uh, the positive aspects of your life, focusing on gratitude, you can feel good now. And an exercise that you could do is just imagine I, imagine I came over and I cut a lemon in half and I squeezed the lemon juice in your mouth right now. What would happen is you would start to salivate and you would start to actually picture <laughs> what that would be like and your body will create a physiological response. So in the same way with feeling good, you don't need the you don't need the conditioning of whatever it is that you desire to 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 come about for you to feel good now. You can feel I mean for you to feel good, you can feel good now regardless of those conditions. And a good way to do this is to look at your goals, look at your, your goals in the major areas of your life, um, your health, your fitness, your relationships, career, and ask yourself, what emo why do you want this? And in relation to the why, it's what emotions do you want to feel? I'm doing the walking challenge, walking 20,000 steps a day, and I ask myself, why do I really want this? And what the feelings that came about is the feeling of accomplishment, the feeling of being fit, and feeling free. And guess what? I can experience those things now. I don't need to wait till the end of the month, uh, whenever I've done this, to actually feel those things. And the good thing is that whenever you can imagine the end and really appreciate it and sit with it, you create new pathways that help it come about a lot easier.